I'm going to start off by carrying out two cleanses. The first cleanse is a superficial cleanse, which will help to remove any impurities from the skin surface and any makeup residue. The second cleanse is what we call a deep cleanse, and that actually cleans the skin. So I'm going to get my antibacterial cleanser, start by applying a small amount into the palm of my hand, and as this is a gel, I'm just going to apply a bit of water to the gel and it will help to foam up. I'm going to apply this to my client's skin in nice effleurage sweeping movements. Evenly distribute it around the face and then up the neck. Around the jawline and don't forget to remove that makeup from just above the upper lip. Nice circular movements to break down any makeup and dissolve. Up onto the forehead. Using our ring finger, a work nice small circular movements in the corner of the nose and come up diagonally up the bridge of the nose. This helps to remove all the stubborn makeup that normally gets caught around the nose area. Down into the temples, apply a bit of pressure and then remove. In a bowl of warm water, I have two facial sponges. So what we do now is remove that cleanser off of the skin don't forget to clean the sponges during this process just to get any excess cleanser off now, the sponges just need to be damp, they don't need to be really wet. Okay, so I can see now that I've removed all the cleanser residue, so I'm going to go in and start to do my deep cleanse. So using the same product and the same procedure, taking gel out of the product and applying a small amount of water just to mix together to foam it up. and then we distribute it evenly onto the skin. Don't forget that neck area as well. Starting at the neck, do nice effleurage stroking movements, up and then across the jawline. Scissor movements over the lips, so we make sure that we get that skin that's just under the nose and above the upper lip. Nice circular movements on the cheek area. Working up to the forehead, and nice stroking movements in an upwards motion. Again, using my ring finger, nice small circular movements in the corner of the nose, and then I'll bring it up over the bridge of the nose. Down towards the temples, nice small circular movements, and apply a slight pressure and remove. So we're gonna repeat the process to remove that cleanser using our damp sponges. We want to try and keep 
contact with your client as much as possible. This will help to relax that client, especially if this is the first time they've had the treatment done. Just rinsing out and cleaning those sponges again. Making sure that we remove all residue of the cleanser. Following our cleansing routine, I'm just going to blot the skin, so I'm going to use a tissue, make sure that I tear a hole in the middle and place it over our client's face and just gently blot by applying slight pressure. Fold it into your hand and then nice rolling movements onto the skin. This will remove any excess moisture that's on the skin. which makes it safer for when we're using the blade.